Hi dancers! I wanted to talk a little bit about the wearable technology that you see me with. We've already had a video talking about the Fitbit and the wonderful things it can do, so why don't you check out that video? But you might also have seen me wearing this other piece of technology. This is a wearable microphone, and of course it's much smaller than your traditional singing microphone that you might have seen. Uh, it is also larger than some of the um, little clip-on microphones. And of course, some people, when they're working out, they wear the microphone that comes around their head. I have never taken to those, so um, I much prefer something that just clips on. And I actually really like this. You can get a small clip-on microphone to attach to this, um, but I find this perfectly adequate, and the sound quality is far superior to... Uh, when you're recording to have a proper microphone. So I want to talk about the company that make this just for a minute because I, I think it's really interesting. I knew nothing about this until I started making this YouTube channel. So this is the Rhoda microphone and the company was founded in 1967 in Australia. Right now it's grown to about 150 employees and they make all kinds of microphones and audio software and they're, they're, they're known for making extremely high quality microphones. But what I particularly liked about this, the story about this, I'll, I'll just show it to you and then I'll tell you the story. So you can see it says Rhoda, R-O, and the O has a line through it, R-O-D-E, Rhoda. This is the transmitter and it's nothing, nothing more than a small box with a clip. So I just clip it onto me. And uh, as I say, if you had a what's called a lavalier microphone, you can plug that in here and just do a tiny clip onto your clothing. Um, I don't have one of those uh, that I was happy with, so I decided just to stick with this. But it transmits to this, which is a little receiver, also very tiny, that plugs into my phone, which is what I've been recording. Can you believe in this day and age uh, that I have recorded all of these videos on this channel just with a telephone? I mean, I'm saying that because I work with older people and I remember when I was a child that phones did nothing more than talk to other people. Now phones, of course, do everything. They're mini computers and they're even very high quality video cameras. So anyway, to get a good microphone sound, I actually purchased the Rhoda. But the story that I love about it, so as I mentioned, it's spelled R-O-D-E, and the O has a line through it, like you would see in a Scandinavian script. Well, it turns out when they first started making their microphones, the very early model sold so fast. This is Australian speak. I love the way Australians speak. They said um, sales of the product took off like a rat up a drain pipe. That's a wonderful imagery, but anyway, so uh, because of that, the very first microphone they made, they called it the Rodent One, because it was like a rat up a drain pipe. Well, then they realized we can't call this a rodent, so they split the word into Rhoda NT One. Think about it, Rhoda, R-O-D-E, NT, one. So the Rhoda NT1 was the Rodent 1. And then over the years, you know, they made other, other microphones and other products and the NT1 might have got lost, but the Rhoda stayed there. So there was me thinking it was this wonderful Scandinavian name, but actually it actually has more to do with vermin. But there we go. I thought you'd enjoy that story. And now you know a little bit more about tiny microphones. Remember to try my other playlists. Each one is like a one hour class in the studio. And check out my other videos, including health and wellness tips, product reviews, and more. See you soon.